Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create a YouTube video carousel in Elementor. Please bear in mind that I'm using Elementor Pro. There are three skins of media carousel in Elementor. This is the regular inline video carousel. This is the slideshow skin with a preview section at the top and then other videos at the bottom. And then finally, the cover flow skin which looks similar to the regular carousel, except that the angle on the side videos. So let me show you how to add a video carousel in Elementor. So I'm logged into my WordPress website. You can add a YouTube video carousel on a page or a blog post in WordPress, and I'm going to add it to one of my web pages. So I'll have my mouse over pages in the left side bar and then click on all pages. It'll display all my web pages. I'll have my mouse over the about page and then click on edit with Elementor. It'll then load the about page. Let me scroll down. And this is where I'm going to add my YouTube video carousel. I'll have my mouse over this section down below and click this plus button. Then I'll add the section by clicking this plus button here. And from these different structures, I'll choose to add the single column section. Now, if you're using the new Flexbox containers, yours may look a bit different, but just choose the single column section. Here is the new section that has been added. And then I'll click in this area. And from this left sidebar, I'll use a search box and then type the word carousel. This is the media carousel that we're going to be using. I'll just drag and drop it into the section that we just added, like so. You'll see several sample placeholder images. Now before we proceed, here is one of the YouTube videos I want to add to the video carousel. And I'm on YouTube. In the address bar, this is a YouTube video URL we are going to need. So I'm going to click on Control C on my keyboard to copy the URL. So now let's head back to Elementor. Like I showed you earlier, there are three skins. Carousel, Slideshow, and Coverflow. I'll leave it to the default carousel. Down below are these slides where we add the YouTube videos. By default, there are five slides or items, but you can add more if you want to by clicking the Add Item button. You can also click this button to duplicate an item and click this button to delete a specific item. I'm going to click on the first slide, item number one, and this will open the section like so. You can add an image or a video. I'll click the video button because we're going to be adding a YouTube video. Next, I'll click on the image section and it'll take me to the media library in WordPress. I'll click on this image to select it and then click select in the bottom right corner. As you can see, it's added the image here. Next, in the video link box below, I'll use Control V to paste the YouTube video link that I showed you earlier. Next, I'll click here to close this section. And then I'll click on the second item to open it like so. I'll click on the video button and then click on the image section. And like I did before, I'll add the next thumbnail to the video from the media library like so. Next, in the video link box, I'll add the second YouTube video link. You will then need to repeat the same process for the rest of the videos that you want to add to the video carousel. So I went ahead and added a total of seven videos to the carousel. So let me scroll down in this left side panel. In this effect field, you have three options, slide, fade, and cube. So this is essentially the animation, and I'm going to leave it to the default slide effect. So this is what the slide effect looks like in terms of the animation. 
And like I said, I'm going to leave it to the default slide effect. You can then adjust the slides per view and slides to scroll using the respective drop down buttons. I'm just going to leave them as default. You can also adjust the height and width of the carousel. Again, I'll leave it as default. Let me click on the additional options section to open it. The arrows option is enabled, which allows you to display these navigation arrows on the left and the right side of the carousel. For the pagination, the default is dots, which appears here at the bottom of the carousel. You can display dots, fraction, and progress. I prefer the dots, so I'll leave it as is. This section down below allows you to control the animation of the slides, like I showed you earlier. The autoplay option allows the slides to move automatically. You can control the autoplay speed. The lower the number, the faster the slides will move. You can also enable and disable the pause on hover or on interaction. So essentially, when the visitor hovers or clicks on the carousel, it'll stop moving. The overlay option allows you to display text or an icon over each slide. I'll leave it as is. The image resolution allows you to choose different image resolutions for the thumbnail. And finally, the lazy load option, if enabled, helps load the page faster for visitors. So all these settings I covered were in the content tab. Now let's go to the style tab. There are three sections here. Let me open the slide section by clicking it. Here you can control uh, the space between the slides. I'll leave it as is. You can also change the background color. You can also add a border width radius and change the color and adjust the padding here. Again, I'm not going to do that. Let me close this slide section and then click on the navigation section. Here you can control the size and color of the arrows in the carousel. In the pagination section, you can control the position, size, and color of the pagination dots. And finally, in the play icon section, you can control the size and color of the play icon. I'll change the size to 75 pixels so it's a little smaller. Let me close the navigation section and I'll open the light box section. Here's where you can control what the light box looks like when the visitor clicks on the slide to watch the video. So if I click on this video, you'll see what the light box looks like. I'll just leave it as a default. But here is where you can control the background color and the color of the user interface. In the Advanced tab, you'll find several advanced settings for animations and other styling options. I'll be creating an advanced tutorial to cover some of these advanced settings. I'm not going to get into this right now. Make sure to click this Update button to make sure that you save the changes. But that's how you create a YouTube video carousel in Elementor. You can check this page to see how the video carousel looks like and then interact with it. And I also added a YouTube video playlist at the bottom. You'll find the link in the description section. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.